Hey, hey, boys and girls. Welcome to episode 37 of Chickens in the Sky, Factory 3. Well, if you if you notice in the background there, we have squids doing things that squids don't normally do, like trying to fly, living in cobblestone. Yeah, it's been a very interesting morning here, to say the least. Um, so let's go check it out, and then we're going to get on to today's plan. Today's plan is we need more diamonds, because I used up all of our diamonds, and you're going to see that in a second. We had 1,600 diamonds, and uh, I got us down to 64, back up to 293, because I've, I've just AFK'd for a while. But 293 is still not enough. Uh, 293 would give me... 32 diamond blocks, and I still need a couple hundred diamond blocks. So, that brings us to the notes on the right side of the screen. We're going to be trying RF Tools Dimensions today. Now, if I stand here, do you notice anything different? Yeah, the, the big reactor is a little bit different, isn't it? Or the extreme reactor, I'm sorry. It's a little bit different here. I, I, I made it bigger. And apparently I screwed up something because, well... You notice all the ink sacks we're picking up, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, wow, even loot bags. Awesome. What are we doing on Galorium? I want to make sure this is built up, because I used a few stacks of this. I'm trying to get us the achievement. Is that squid actually in the water? Sweet. I tried to put one in the water, and it wouldn't stay. It died. Okay. I'm trying to get the achievement for the 100,000 KRF, whatever that one is. And this this reactor here, I went on to the uh, big reactor simulator, which I, it's just some guy's private site, but he made it for big reactors back in 1710, and apparently it still works for 110 too. You just got to be careful which liquid you use. And I originally simulated this design with the melted ender pearls all around the outside of it. And it gave 103,000 RF per tick, which is freaking fantastic. But then in practice, when I put the melted under pearls on the outside, they ran all over the place, and it was kind of messy. I didn't like that. So I'm putting diamond blocks everywhere. I mean, what else do we really need this many diamond blocks for anyway? We've got to use them for something. So you see why we need so many more. That's why I'm waiting for more to build up. Uh, this is 10 high, 13 wide, and 15 long. If I remember correctly, that counts the outside layer. So inside, it's what, uh, 11 by 13 by 8, I believe, I think. And it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of control logs in it. Uh, I think I counted 32 of them. That sounds about right. Yeah, we'll just say it's 32 of them. So it's going to have a bunch of stuff in there. It's going to take a lot of that galorium to get it up and going. It's going to take a lot of stuff. So hopefully we'll get enough diamonds during this episode to go back and finish it off. If not, we'll do it first thing tomorrow to get some more achievements. Um, I also had to put range extenders in the wireless terminal up under this platform because it wouldn't reach up here. It was too tall. Now what we're doing today is we're going to play with RF Tools Dimensions. And we're going to pray, 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 pray we get some good ones. So um, what we have here, I need a couple more of those. I think I made some. No, I didn't. That receives, that sends. I want the receivers. Let's just only get four of these. Because it should just make them right up. Shouldn't it? Oh, no, it's got to make some of that stuff. That's right. It's got to burn some redstones first. I think two should actually do it, though. And then we'll have more left over for later. Okay. So here's what these machines are. And all I did is craft them. I didn't even set up auto crafting patterns. I just made them. Because the only hard block in them is the machine base. Uh, machine frame, I'm sorry. So that auto crafted like 20 of those. And then I just made these. They're all simple stuff. Uh, this is iron ingots, ink, redstone, and paper. That's the dimension inscriber. The dimension builder, dimension editor. I made all these terrain absorbers. or Material, liquid, terrain, feature, and time absorbers. Don't know if I need them or not, but I've got them. I've never used them before. Then I've got matter transmitters, matter receiver, and a dialing device. I think that's all I know. I need something else, don't I? I need an empty dimension tab. So let's go down here. I don't know if I showed you in the last episode. I moved terminals out here. I think I did show you, but we have terminals out here now, too, so we can craft stuff. Let's do, like, three of these. Uh, real 
Thanos? No, no. No, we have some of these from Enderman and the Cursed Earth Farm before I turned it off. So we'll go take a look at those after I figure out what we're doing. Just not quite yet. Okay, and I figured we had this new platform that we placed out here in the last episode. So might as well use it for something. So let's just put these guys out here. So we need the machines first. Dimension Editor. Let's just throw this down. We'll go here. Dimension Builder. Dimension Inscriber. And... Does that even take power? I think it does take power. Dialing and those guys. So these, we're going to do these a little bit differently. Not much, but a little bit. So what I want to do is, do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. Let's kill off some of... I don't know how I want to do this. I'm going to do this like this. I do believe. I'm going to take this, we're going to run some conduit. And we're going to find out. Okay, apparently the inscriber doesn't take power. Okay, because it's not connecting to anything. Okay. Now, can I put this directly onto a conduit? The answer would be yes, I can. Let's put you on this network. So, it's getting a little, why is it going so slowly? It must be faster than that. You got 12.6 million in the, in the thing. And I'm using the high grade conduit. Huh. Let's stick one directly on here and see. going slowly. Weird. The thing is, I don't want to use too much power because we don't have any power hooked up right now. So that could be a bad thing. So we put you here. Uh, we need to kill that one. We need to put you here. Then we'll put you right there. And I want the dialing device to be right here. I believe that's how I want that. Then I use condo facade down here to do this. Okay, so now these have power. I get not a lot. This is really worrying me. Why is it getting so little power? Always active. Just want you to do that. That's just really weird. Don't kill up pillars and stuff. Um, yeah, it should just be doing its thing. Do I need to have a plug on that? I don't think I do. Let's just rock it and see what happens. So in order to make a dimension, it's going to take forever. Let's see what, let's do this. So I don't know what I'm doing with this. We're going to go for something tried and true. Let's go for some power cells. Whoops. Let's try to spell power cell. So I just happen to have some of these already up anyway. We can link one to this one because this is like really fast power. Thank you, linked up. Whoa. I thought we covered this. I love how the grass is darker here. This one is a roofed forest biome compared to the plains over there. And you can actually see where it switches off. Put you there. We're going to make you linked, instant power, output everywhere. All right, now we're getting some power. So I don't know what's happening with that. It's just weird. Okay, so, uh, which one is which? What do you do? You build it. Dimension Builder. Editor. Oh, okay. Uh, inscribers. We want to do just a random one. So this is just completely random. There's nothing in this whatsoever. 
This only cost a thousand RF for a hundred ticks, so our two zeros, it's a hundred thousand RF. It's easy, and it's only ten RF per tick to go. So then we need to put this in to this guy, which is the dimension builder, and it powers it up. Now it's at a hundred percent. This is ID number two. You can see that on the second line of the tooltip. And it's got plenty of power. It's only 10 RF per tick. So, let's name these really quick. This is, which one is this? This is the transmitter. So let's just go main base. Okay, and this is going to be main base. One sends, one, one receives. I never know which is which. Okay, now we do a little bit of praying. Um, where's my ender bag? Let's throw as much as we can in the ender pouch just in case. I'm going to keep those out. Throw you, you. We're not going to need that where we're going. I'm going to keep the charge quarter out because that's a way to get back relatively quickly. Okay. I believe, you know what, we probably won't even need that. Okay, ender pouch good. Everybody's good. Get our bow ready. We got our armor on so we can fly. Let's go. We go from the main base to ID number two, dial it. When we stand here, we're going to get an achievement. Oh, let's hope this goes well. Chances are it won't because it's random. We're probably going to get some, some kind of debug. Whoa. Check no. that madness out. No. It's actually a stable world. <laughs> There's anything in it though. There's nothing in it around us. Check out that sky. That's wicked. Okay, but there's nothing uh, here. So this was just a uh believe the word is a crapshoot. So this did nothing for us. Uh, Poor Cal, you're gonna be here forever. You wanna you gonna be out of your misery? No. Yep. Cow's out of his misery. Okay, so um, we need to go back. Oop, I didn't tell it where to go. Okay, so we'll just have to do FTB home me. I forgot to tell it to go back to the main transporter. Okay, so let's go set that up. So now we need to do another one. So this should bring us back to here. Oop. Okay, there we go. Receiver one is added. So now this guy right here will bring us back to receiver one, which is this guy right here. And yeah, you just have to set it the one time you're good to go. Okay, so we can turn this one off by interrupting it. That took me forever to figure it out. Um, and then we'll go back over here. We'll take this out. And is it? Oh, wow, look at that. Strain void, base block stone, fluid and null. I didn't know it did all this. Sky type, sky inferno. That's pretty wicked right there. So we're going to put this back in here. Extract. Now it's blank. So let's go try something here. So I did, I did play this a little bit in Unstoppable. I think I put it on video too so y'all can see it. We want to make... Our tools. No. How do you do this? Um. I oh, don't tell me it's not in there. Really, dude? Here we go. Control circuit. Oh, really? Oh, this bites. Okay, what that means. Normally, there's a lot more stuff if you do add RF tools, or add RF2 as I did. And it shows you you can make numbered dimlets, which if you assign a random number to a dimlet, and then, like, say you make three numbered dimlets, one, two, three. You can put those in random order, and it'll give you a different one every time. I'm explaining this horribly, but I hope you understand. Little chest. Uh, is anybody here giving me a chest? Let's see if this works. 
I saw Etho do this in Project Ozone. I have to put some in my inventory. Okay. Hmm. I got some stuff. Okay, we got all these controls. Let's put those in to here. No. Did I make the box you put them in? I don't believe I did. I'll have to go back and make them. We'll have to go back and make another box. Uh, tools controls. No, I want dimensions. No. This is what I want. Uh, where's the machine for this? Inscriber, builder, editor, workbench. I believe the workbench is the one I want. So I'm going to get me. Yeah, like that. Oh, you would start raining on me. Oh, where am I? Okay. What time is it? It's 3 in the afternoon, so we can't sleep. Okay, so we're going to make a workbench really quickly. It was this guy. That, by the way, the crafting we just did, that's all you missed. Whew, that's lightning. I wish I had the stuff to make that lightning rod right now because we'd be taking off another achievement. Okay, let's throw this down. And let's throw it down right here. That's being faster than the flux is. Check out, we can make another beneath. So all this in here. Let's see what we need. This is how you make your own custom beneath here. If I wanted to make. Block of down. It tells me I would need. I have everything I need except for this one. Which is apparently some sort of. Liquid? I guess we need a liquid something here. And we just happen to have a liquid absorber. I guess we can go and put that in water and let it absorb that, right? Is that how that works? I don't have a pond, so we'll stick it over here in the sugar cane. Apparently, we have much goods. Oh! What? In there, Mike? Where did I get that from? <laughs> I don't know. Good. There's another squid. It's going to get really annoying if those things keep popping out on me. Oh, do we just stick this in the water? Uh, is it doing anything? I honestly don't know how to work it. Apparently, I could the sugar cane. It's off. I'm I need a lever. Do I need to turn it on? I think I remember Hypno doing that in the episode. I the sugar cane will do that again. I don't know if it's working on it. And all these squid going over there is really random. It worries me a little bit. I'm not going to do that one. I may have to pause this for a second and uh, look it up. I really guess there's too many of those things. Let's just see if it works. From, from all the videos I've seen, it's not that fast, but maybe I get lucky. Maybe I'll just throw this in here. I don't do anything out of it. Um, okay, so that doesn't go through. 
I have a manual for this. I'll keep it. Yes. It's a two different book. All right, let me pause this and we'll look that up really quick, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, research complete. According to the RF Tools wiki, wow, we got laggy there for a second. According to the wiki, you place it on top. So here's what we need to do. We need a block of something. Dart will do the trick. Put the dart down. Put that. And break this. Check that out. It's doing its thing. Uh -oh. Did this thing a little bit too well. All right. You saw the note on the side of it that says Derpitude Time. <laughs> right, cool. So we need a bucket. I know I got buckets. Okay, I'm full. Okay. That is not a big deal. Give me my uh, bucket. Let's make this thing still go. Really, dude? Come on. Did you really drink that much water? Apparently, that was a yes. How much water do you need? 19%. Okay, this is going to take a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to give this a shot now. I got the water one full. Took a couple of minutes. And it didn't do anything. I put it in here. Nothing. So, I just did a dart one. Took two stacks of dart. That does nothing. Let's see. Uh, dart. Just a dart in there. Hey, look at that. We got a dimlet. And this is... <laughs> <laughs> that is dirt cheap. All puns intended. <laughs> so let's uh, stick this on there. Warning. Dangling modifiers. So that means we need something else. Uh, I don't know what else we would need. If only demlets will be reconstructed into parts. No. Let's see. Let me know that. Nutrient distillation would be a good world to get. Molten, I don't molten, molten, molten. I've got water. What's water do? If I stick that in there, do I still get a warning? Yeah, I still get a warning on that one. Hmm. I wonder how bad it could be. Should we find out? What are my other terrain feature? Do we need a feature? Time I'm not really worried about. Let's just see how bad this is. Worst thing that happens is we die and I've got all the important stuff in my ender bag, so I'll be okay. Store? Okay. This only cost. 10 RF per tick. Throw it in there. Let's see what happens. Say a little prayer. Oh my goodness, I'm frightened. Got it. Oh no, I'm supposed to leave that in there, my bad. Okay. So let's go to number three. Dial. Where's my porter at? Just in case. Oh, uh, what's my last command? Okay, good. Just in case. <laughs> what is that? Snow. Okay, there's that. No bad effects. Okay. I wonder if there's any of those little things in here. I can fly. I'm going to go down a little bit here. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom, but that does not look like water. It looks like a void. Okay, so here is my plan. My plan is I'm going to fly around for a few minutes off camera because there are these things in here. So we'll just go straight out. Let's mark this first so I know where, how far I've gone. This is not quite zero zero, but it's close. 
All right, four. Okay. I'm going to go straight out because in an RF tool world, there are normally these little houses that form that give you dimlets. And that is so much easier than making my own dimlets because realistically what I'm going to have to do is build an Enderman spawner, which is not that hard to do. I just got to catch an Enderman. But I'm going to have to build an Enderman spawner and let that thing run for a few hours in order to get enough of those dimlet bags to make what I want to make. So yeah, let me go off camera here. I'll be back in just a minute. By the way, while you're waiting on me, which I know it takes forever when I hit the pause button and hit the unpause and I'm right, right back, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. You know, do your thing. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, we're on to something different here. The, the, the world I, left, I paused it on had nothing. I flew like three or 4,000 blocks out and absolutely nothing. So I came back and I took apart the dimlet and just switched them. The, the two little dimlets we made, I switched the order of them. Rebuilt it, same tick cost and all that, and this is what we're in this time. Check this out. So I think, let's go to this. Uh, features. We want to we absorb, these are called tendrils. So if we can do tendrils, then maybe we can make a tendril out of like diamonds. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Let's see if it'll absorb this. It's apparently nighttime here. So let's see. Okay, that's going to take it a minute. So let's do um, absorber. So I know where it is. And I probably should have chunk loaded that. But let's see if we can find one of those little RF tools houses. This is pretty cool. Oh, there's one of the houses right there. So let's see if there's anything hiding in it. Like Miscraft used to have spiders and creepers that would hide in here. Oh, see, good thing we looked. There's the front door. There's always a door and a light switch. Let's see if we can get this guy to come out. Come on, little dude. Let's just be mean to him. Mm -hmm. So look at that. We got dimlets. We got... Chiseled sandstone, slime, and green fog. None of that's very helpful. None of that. <laughs> Dark night. Okay. It's another Batman thing. Material type controller. I don't think we need any of this. Base part. Okay. Are those pink sheep? They used to be such a rare thing, and now you find them everywhere. Oh, those are pigs. Even more rare, the pink sheep pig. Ooh, are those trees? I bet you that's what, um, I think it's actually additions that adds those on. Bye, dude. Okay, here's another house. This one is made out of dimensional blank blocks. Can we use that? We'll find out. Nobody in here. Okay. Oop, a dimlet parcel. That's a good thing. Basic energy. Base part. Terrain type controller. That's kind of nifty if I knew what to do with that. I guess we picked up some more. Uh, body sun. Weakness 2. Blue stained glass. Now, weakness 2 would be a good one to add in because it helps to balance out that instability that we found. Let's see, which way are we coming from? Mm -mm, sorry, M is the map button now. That's over there. I'm going this way. Let's go find one more, and then I'm going to pause it and wait for that um, feature absorber to absorb these things. Because I'd love to have like, these things made out of like diamonds and well, mainly diamonds. So my diamond chickens are just not fast enough. And I don't want to make a whole slew of them because I'll never need that. What is that? Oh, I don't know what mod adds this. I don't know if it's base Minecraft or not. But this is a bone rib cage. It's, it's supposed to resemble like a fossil. And you'll see these all over in these RF tool world, worlds too. I guess they spawn in the quote-unquote real world. I just never come across them. 
Uh, don't see any art there. Okay, I'm going to pause this and click some dimlets, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys, I've got one more thing to show you this episode. So I'm going to spend some time out here collecting dimlets. I came across something, but we just got, we got to check it out. There's no other choice. First, you see I've already got a bunch of dimlets. We'll go through these in the next episode when we build something more custom. But there's a Valentine's Chance Cube. Now, it's uh, I'm filming this on February the 9th. Apparently, we're in a land full of chase spiders because they are everywhere. Now, I'm scared to death of chance cubes. If you watched me when I briefly played Project Dozone, you would know that. But I feel safe here. So let's just... Oh, this could be wrong. It could be wrong. What did we get? A marlin. Really? That was so anticlimactic. I feel disappointed for even coming back off the pause on that one. But I've never seen... I think I've gotten a couple of chance cubes from somewhere. I don't even remember where I got them. But I just deleted them. There's another one. Let's see if this one's any more dramatic. I'm going to play it's not, but we'll see. Well, that, that could have been worse. Okay, I feel like I've tried my luck enough. So uh, that's it for Chance Cubes, and that's it for this episode. Again, I appreciate y'all coming out to watch, and I will see you in the next episode, guys.